This is for Tyra Banks. Um, remember me? Hi, Lisa. Um, remember when I had an opportunity to ask you one question in season five? And a modeling question. And I came in and I asked you a question that wasn't about modeling and you kicked me out. Can I get that question back? It's also not about modeling, but since the show's over, right? Um, here's my question. Remember when after season five, they did this whole E! True Hollywood story on America's Next Top Model? And I went on there and I talked about production, which is contractually a, a breach of contract. And it's about $5 million that I could get sued for, but I still did it. I did it knowing that it was a breach of contract still because I felt like it was my duty to warn other girls that were going to audition for America's Next Top Model to know that what you guys do and the way that you guys would poke me and use my childhood trauma against me day in and day out. It was just so fucked up and it broke my heart. Like, how could you do that? So, to me, the odds were still worth it if I got sued. Now, <clears throat> I don't know how you sleep at night because um, you guys know you, Tyra. You knew very well the horrible trauma that my mom inflicted on me. And you also talk so much about how much you wouldn't be where you are without your mother and how powerful she is. So knowing that you still did that to me and then continued to do it to other girls even after I spoke publicly about it, How do you sleep at night? How do you sleep at night knowing that you're torturing and poking at people's, girls' childhood traumas for your own profit? How do you sleep at night? You know, I never knew if you were innocent or guilty. I always just pinned Ken Mock. But I have to be honest with you. Since quarantine and I mean, everybody's throwing you under the bus these days. All these girls have been speaking out. Gina Turner, literally the same person I was on my season. You guys pinned her out. I remember I would go home from school just to watch America's Next Top Model, just to watch Tyra preach about how being different is beautiful and how having something so imperfect makes you beautiful. And I grew up idolizing this woman, not even my own mom. <laughs> now, I'm not gonna stand for this and you guys can't expect that when I get out of this house that I'm gonna be quiet. I'm just not that kind of girl. I'm gonna be honest, it is what it is. They knew that they had a, a problem on their hands and somebody who was gonna be honest and speak on their bullshit. The way, the way that you pinned her as like the, the bitch, it's fucked up. Why would you do that to her? The way you dragged Angelie. I mean, it, it's insane. Like the amount of bullshit that me and the other girls went through. There are times when we didn't get fed. We had to film straight through 15, 18 hours without eating. So we're starving. So then that plays on your mental attitude because it's almost like they want us to go in there angry so they can have drama. So, okay, let's starve them. Let, let's withhold food. Let's withhold water because you know how you get when you're hungry. Well, Tyra was not existent. Like the only time we saw Tyra was at panel and Tyra never came in to talk to us personally. When the camera stopped rolling, we don't, it's like she's a stranger. I used to admire her so much because I'm thinking she's just like me. She's tall, she's skinny. She was teased when she was a kid. She's from the hood. She understands me. And when I met her, I was very disappointed.
You preach to girls, you know, you can come from a certain area, you can come from, you know, a broken home, whatever, and you can become successful. But that's not the case because look at what happened to me. So basically every girl that has been through something that I've been through, and I've been through a lot, the death of a child, I used, was an escort, got out of that, um, I mean, uh, raped, whatever, you can name it, it's happened to me. So basically girls like me don't have a chance. The way you dragged that girl, like how do you sleep at night? How do you do that? All these years, gotten zero support from you. Sure, fine, you let me win the All-Stars, the most bloody win ever. Like that was so gross, the way you guys did that. I mean, you can just go on YouTube. Jay Manuel just came out of, with a book about you. Like, um, Alicia White. Um, Adrian Curry, Molly Sue, Joni Dodds, she's not your biggest fan, I'll let you know regardless if she says it or not. Like, what the fuck are you gonna do about this? What are you gonna do? I just want you to know that we were all rooting for you. All the shit we have to deal with online for your false narrative, bad editing, mental manipulation. <laughs> <laughs>